Good evening. Uh -oh. <clears throat> so I didn't get to do this all day today, which was for at least half of the day. Almost shockingly discombobulating. Uh, it made it difficult to focus throughout much of the day. And then I got my original intention all muddled up with uh, a second intention. Um, ah. uh, I went to my brother's church today and then listened to my mom and stepdad squabble about the church. So I'm stuck with many, many different things to discuss or to take away uh, from the thing. I guess part and parcel of the thing that's probably stuck in my craw the longest is one of the trickier notions of being a faithful person or believing in this God who is gracious and true and uh, self-sacrificing to, to a appalling degree, but loving enough to exhibit his grace throughout nature and in the hearts of men, as well as through a literal uh, dictation of his word to man. And yet still, there are many activities of this gracious creator who has transformed so many just fascinating, and delectable moments of my own life. Um, but I also managed to exhibit like characteristics that by, by human judgment would be just appalling. And I suppose one of the 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 crux the cruxes <laughs> of those is this whole aspect of judgment and that this munificent creator would uh, would send anybody to an eternal torment this whole concept of hell and judgment and so forth. And I've always eased my mind with the, the thought that basically all of us, myself included, let's go ahead and say myself uh, first and foremost, I'm the first to get kicked off the plank, uh, as in walk the plank, pirate, whatever, um, deserve damnation, basically, through, through my actions, which even in their, in their kindest days, tend to be uh, on the selfish side, and certainly in their wickedest days, tend to be nasty and wicked. And by any court of appeals, I would be judged wanting over and over again. Um, and yet there was this blood sacrifice made by the creator of the universe. It's, it's a fascinating and, and delicious story altogether. But then why would some be offered, and why would some take the offer, and why would some walk away from the author, and then what about the people who do their best to, you know, uh, walk away from their uh, uh, bitter nature, and walk towards their better nature, and this whole concept of no one comes to the Father but by me, I, in a way it's sort of scary and appalling, you know, it seems uh, unjust. Although, as I've said before, if the creator of the universe was completely understandable and his concept of justice, his her concept of justice was the same as my concept of justice, in a way that's not really all that divine. Ultimately, that's just human. So there's got to be some sort of uh, landscape laid out in which this seems just. And I guess... I then, based on my belief system, I have to sort of assume then that the most just possibility is then to offer this uh, this unblemished cleansing from that which is uh, distinctly malnourished in our nature. And it's free, and it's uh, freely given, and you can do nothing really to earn it other than to go, okay, yes, and turn from your nasty, and accept the delicious, and walk towards the delicious. And in a way, that maybe so that's got to be the best of the program? That has to be the best of the program. Freely offered, freely given, freely taken. But then free will is still engaged, and then why couldn't people choose destruction? 
then that even in and of itself seems unwise, because if we're all made in God's image, wouldn't he want to save us all? Wouldn't he love us all? But then he doesn't necessarily. He allows some of us to plummet off into, into the darkness, and some of us do not. Some of us he draws back from the edge, or some of us, I guess, randomly turn around, notice the light, and pull back from the edge. And what's the answer? I don't know the answer. I only know the truth that's been revealed to me. The love that I've felt offered from so far outside myself as to make no sense. And the, and the miracles that have been offered in my life that have kept me sustained and alive have come through this source. So then I'm like, oh, okay. And then, and this is your justice. So then, and I, but the, I guess, I guess the gorgeous part is we as human beings don't know. We don't know who is, uh, is doomed to, to bleakness and blackness and how depressing is that. And so all we can do is scramble and try to help, try to help everyone, not knowing anyone. I can't read anybody's heart. I can't even read my own heart. So all I have to do is strive and struggle and release all attachment, uh, surrender all, all will and just turn from my nasty and turn towards the will of the Most High and then try to seek out all who need aid, spiritual, physical, etc., whatever. Because I don't know, despite whatever justice, grand uh, divine justice, I don't quite understand or seems strange to me. That's just how it's going to play out. There's so many aspects of life that just play out and completely inexplicably, completely unjust. So it's not crazy, I guess, to assume that the master of the universe would play out in a, in a manner which I wouldn't quite understand. And then my only gig is to just follow in just blind and just abject and delicious gratitude. And aid all that I can, not knowing who might be helped, or who might be aided, who might be saved. But just to pursue that line of servanthood and love. With, with a bit of desperation, really. I guess that's what it commands. The sort of confusion and the, and the lack of humanity and divinity that animates humanity's uh, drive to bring salvation, you know, the word of salvation, the truth of salvation, or the truth in the way in which salvation has touched, you know, their own hearts, my own heart, to others. Heavy-ish. See, this is why I don't do this stuff at night. It's crazy heavy, man. I'll see you guys in the morning.